excited because it's Sunday today. I am going to make myself a hot chocolate and get my blanket ready to watch the sermon. Hey, where are you going, Penelope? Well, I want to get my things ready to start the sermon. Well, don't you remember? What? It's worship time first. Oh, of course. Okay, let me not stop the praise party. Let's get started with some worship. Hey boys and girls, welcome again to another episode in our Daddy Dearest series. Today we'll be talking about another dad in the Bible, and his name is Abraham. So Abraham had a nickname. His nickname was the Father of Faith, but his name actually meant Father of Many Nations. Just one problem, he didn't have any children. One day God came to him and he said, Abraham, I'm going to give you children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren, and on and on and on. God said, move to another faraway land, and when you get there, you will start your family. Abraham and his wife Sarah got to this faraway land, and guess what happened? They waited. Nothing happened. And a few years later, guess what happened? Nothing. Waiting. And a few years later waiting. Sarah said, Abraham, I've got a plan. Let's make our own plan to have children. Take my servant girl and she can give you children. Abraham said, great idea, Sarah. So Abraham had a child called Ishmael. A few years later, God came to Abraham again and said, Abraham, I'm going to give you children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-great-great-grandchildren. And Abraham said, I know God, I've got a son called Ishmael. But God said, no, not through Ishmael, through another son. Sarah thought this was very funny, and she actually laughed a little bit, because she was already 90 years old, and Abraham was 100 years old. That's very old to be a a father for the first time. But Abraham believed God. 
God said, in one year from now, you will have a son. And you know what happened, boys and girls, a year later? God gave Abraham and Sarah a son. And they named the son Isaac. God made Abraham a promise many, 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 many years before that. Do you know what a promise is, boys and girls? A promise is when you agree to do something no matter what. And God made Abraham a promise. And God delivered on his promise. And God gave Abraham what he promised. So boys and girls, we can always trust God. That whatever promise he gives us, that he will come through for us. He will never, ever, ever let us down. He's actually the greatest father of them all. So whatever you do, believe in God. And if he has put a dream in your heart, and if he has made you a promise, he will never, ever let you down. Boys and girls, the Bible tells us that God said that Abraham was righteous. That means in God's eyes, like he had never done anything wrong, so just believing. So, if you want to be righteous, like you've never done anything wrong in God's eyes, all you need to do is believe. So pray this prayer with me. Jesus will come into your heart and wash you as white as snow. Let's pray. Jesus, come into my heart. Make me new and forgive all my sins. I believe in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well done, boys and girls. That is the most important prayer that you can ever pray. And know that God is for you and that He will never, ever let you go. And boys and girls, seeing as we're talking about promises today, we do an amazing thing that reminds us of God's promises to us. And it's called communion. So if you want to, you can go get a piece of bread and a little bit of juice and take communion with us today. Boys and girls, the bread represents Jesus' body that was broken for hours so that everything that was wrong with our bodies can be put on Him. So He can make us whole and heal by just partaking in this bread. Let's eat. And then, boys and girls, the promise that Jesus has for us. The blood reminds us of all the beautiful and amazing promises that God has for us. So as you drink the juice today, thank Jesus that is in your heart, that He's cleaned you from all the mistakes that you've made, but that He is also for you and that He's got good plans for you to love you and make sure that you live an amazing life. Let's take the juice together. Amazing. What an awesome way to celebrate God's promises to us. So let's pray together and remind ourselves that God has got promises for us and that He will never, ever let us down. Jesus, thank you that you have made us the most amazing promises. Thank you that we can trust you. And even though sometimes we may wait a bit longer, we believe that you will keep your promises. In Jesus' name. Hey guys, so today's game is a guessing game. It is called Say What? Now for this game, you'll need two people. One of them has to wear a pair of headphones and really loud music should be playing. I am going to mouth specific words to her and she has to try and guess what I'm saying. The person that gets the most words right wins. Tegan, can you hear what I'm oh, saying? Oh, what, sorry? What are you? Oh. So, make sure your music is on full volume and the person who gets the most words correct in under a minute wins. For today's game, we have compiled a list of worship songs, and these are the names that we're going to be using in the game. Are you ready? Let's go. Good, good father. A good, good father. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, how he loves us. Over the what? <laughs> oh, how he loves us. Oh, what love is this? No. Oh, how he loves us. No, <laughs> let's Next move one. on. Cornerstone. Hmm? Cornerstone. <laughs> what? Slow, go slowly. Cornerstone. Grown up. <laughs> Gorgeous. Cornerstone. All in something. <laughs> Cornerstone. Cornerstone. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Not today. Not today. A hot day. <laughs> no, no, not today. Not today. Yes. Not today. Yes. <laughs> okay. You make me brave. You make me brave. Yes. <laughs> Aftermath. 
after math. After after math. Yes. After broken vessels. Wrestles. <laughs> broken vessels. Broke. Broken. Broken. Vessels. Broken vessels. Yes. It is well. Hitting. H- hitting. <laughs> it. Guessing. It. 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 Is. It is. Well. Wow. Well. It is well. Yes. It is well. It is well. <laughs> the. 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 Blessing. The sting. <laughs> the. Blessing. The, the blessing. The blessing. Okay. Raise. Oh, raise. Raise. Oh, raise. <laughs> raise. Rise. Raise. 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 A. A. Hallelujah. Raise a hallelujah. Yes. In. Guess. In. <laughs> Guessing. In. In. The. The. Name. In the name. In the name. In the name. Another, <laughs> a brother, <laughs> a brother. <laughs> Are we done? <laughs> that was so much fun. Let's take a look at the scores. Oh, it looks like you won, Penelope. Please. Oh, but it was so close. We both did a really good job. Guys, make sure to try this game at home. It is so much fun. Kids, our church is doing a lot to help people who don't have food at this time. So if you need help or if you want to help, please ask mommy or daddy to help you to visit the redemptionchurch.co.za website and click on Jesus Cares. We are excited to see how Jesus is going to use us in this time to help people who need help. Boys and girls, that was a really, really awesome Sunday. Hope you guys have had a great Sunday and a great week and we will see you guys next time. Bye.